this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video I am going to be joined by three lovely gentlemen. I'm going to be joined by Lee Bear. <coughs> by Lee Bear. Lee! Lee, hello! Hello? Oh, what's he? What are you doing out here, Lee? Have you built yourself a diving board, have you? Woo! <laughs> I'm going to be joined by Lee Bear. I'm also going to be joined by another bear out here, which is a very adorable bear called Longshot, and a arguably not so adorable creature called Choo Choo. Watch your head, watch your head now. Come on now. You're beautiful, Choo Choo. You are beautiful. Careful now. Go on, are you going to come through? He's getting ready for it, and just about through the doorway. Nicely done. <laughs> anyway, let's go play the, the egg throwing game then, shall we? I'm going to try and put this painting back. That will do for now. And uh, I got I got three eggs on me here. Uh, I know Esther just laid one. There's one for you, Longshot. And uh, there's one for you, Choo Choo. And uh, hopefully Lee's got one. And don't worry, Lee. Don't worry. I didn't think forget about the cake. It's okay. I promise I did not forget about the cake. Do I look like the type of cat that would forget about eating cake? I certainly do not. Come on, throw down the bread breakfast and we can all go and tuck in. We can all go and have some eat. Nom 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 nom. There we go. I had a little bit <laughs> and then the others had the rest. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we're shoveling them down. Anyway, let's go play the egg game then, shall we? Right, so all we've got to do is we've got to throw the egg uh, to try and hit one of the paintings. And there's only two left. There's only the, the green one and the purple one, but they're probably the, the two hardest ones left for us to get. So uh, someone needs to go first. So long shot. Do you want to go first and try and throw the, the first egg? Right, go on, take it away. So you've got to go for either the, the green one or the, the purple one further away. Oh, he's deciding. He's deciding which one to go for. I'd probably recommend the... Oh, he's gone for the green one. He's gone for the green one. He's gone for the most difficult one yet. He's trying to be a hero. He's lining it up. And when you're ready, throw! Slightly too short. Disappointing, long shot. <laughs> he's called long shot, but that wasn't a long shot. That was a short shot. <laughs> right, Lee Bear looks like he is ready to go next. So he's there going to go and line it up. Looks like he is once again going for the difficult lime green one. And he's spinning in a circle. Going to get himself nice and dizzy playing Dizzy Dizzy Bears and he throws it. Ooh, that wasn't bad. Considering uh, he was jumping and spinning in a circle, that wasn't too bad. Right, you'll go Choo Choo. I always let everyone else go first. And uh, you, you need to go for one of the, the green one or the, the purple one. Uh, all of the other ones have already had their, their paintings thrown off. And I think he's going for the purple one. He's playing it safe. He's going to go for the ever so slightly easier one. He's lining up and he fires at... Ooh, slightly too far. Okay, it's all on me then. It's all on me. We can't all be failures. Let's give it a go. Right, let's go and try. I'm going to go for the purple one. Let's go and try and line it up. I don't want to go too high, but it is pretty far away. That looks about good. Jump and throw. Oh, no. Slightly wide. Slightly wide. It's okay. The good news is... That means we can uh, carry on playing the game and uh, do it in the, the next video as well. I need to I need to open the door, Choo Choo. Step back a little bit, then I can get us through. There we go. <laughs> one at a time, lads. One at a time. All right, let's go and head over to the, the love garden then, shall we? And uh, let's go and uh, reveal who I have added to it today. And if you don't know what my love garden is, at the beginning of all of my videos, uh, I look at a sign with someone's name on it and uh, say thank you to them for some reason. And the only rule with my love garden is that you can't ask to be added to the love garden. That is the, the one and only rule about being added and today I'm adding Midget Tomahawk and that's because of an amazing video he did of a speed art of him drawing me and I mean the real me, not the Stampy Cat me. And it looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to leave uh, a link in the description to the video uh, if you want to see it for yourself. But I wanted to say a very big thank you to you, Tomahawk, and welcome to my love garden. And I should probably tell you what we're building today, and I'm going to do that. Well, <laughs> careful. You need to be careful of these doorways, Choo Choo. It's, <laughs> it's a very hazardous house for you, isn't it? Maybe I should raise them all. <laughs> because uh, he's got a very long head, and someone else uh, who is very long, is not long shot, uh, is Fred. And Fred is my friendly Enderman, and he hasn't got a bedroom, but only for today, because after today, he will have a bedroom, because that's what we're doing. And I'm going to do that with the, the help of my helpers, uh, as well as a dog as well. And today, let's have let's have Benji with me today. Where's Benji? Uh, Benji's down here. Benji uh, is the one with the, uh, the blue collar, so he can join us. And uh, let me go and show you where we're building. We're basically building uh, above my crafting room. 
And uh, the room used to be the uh, oh Benji, careful of the cactus, careful of the cactus, Benji, please. Is he good? Is he good? He's good. And oh, <laughs> what are you doing down here? I think that's spring, isn't that? Is spring the one with the lime green collar? Uh, I think it might be. Oh, well, you can join me as well, mystery dog. <laughs> and yeah, so this place used to be where I had a minecart track. I used to have a track that led from here to the other side of my house, which is literally like there. So yeah, it was probably a bit of a pointless minecart track. So I decided that this isn't going to be my minecart track room. Instead, this is going to be a bedroom for Fred. And so what we need to do is try and decorate it to make it Fred style. And Fred has no idea that we're doing this. This is going to be a really big surprise for him. He's going to one day just come up here and he's going to find his bedroom because he likes to spend a lot of time in here. Often when I come up here, I can see him just hanging out in here. So this is uh, one of his favorite hangout spots anyway. And so all we need to do is try and make it uh, a bit more suited to him and uh, one of his favorite things is going around and collecting blocks I always turn around and he's carrying around dirt blocks and all sorts of other blocks as well and so we're gonna have a little section where it can be uh, his block collection and we're gonna have some little pedestals that he can put all of his favorite blocks on and we're of course gonna give him a bed and considering how tall he is it's gonna be a very big bed and oh no my dogs are getting hurt right let's go and let's go and bring my dogs in here shall we and they can sit down otherwise they're gonna go and get hurt come on Benji you can sit down here and spring are you joining me as well where are you spring was he still there spring really really of all of the places in the room you could have teleported to <laughs> i got a doggy totem pole you can see his nose sticking out there do you want to sit down in the pole really is that where you want to sit down because i will i'll make you sit down in there <laughs> you could just see his little face poking out <laughs> that looks so ridiculous okay well you can sell there we go good boy you can sit down there <laughs> oh no, that's ridiculous anyway yeah so we need to destroy all of this uh, because this room is ugly. It's stone and it's just boring and it's grey and it's dull and I don't like it to be honest. I do not like this room and so the outside is gonna still kind of look like stone uh, because I want it to, to be the same style as down there but the walls are all gonna be made out of black wool uh, because that is a uh, Fred's favorite color and then there's gonna be a few purple bits as well because he's got a uh, very vivid purple eyes and we want to have that theme as well so we're gonna have a uh, black carpet on the floor and then we're going to have black walls and then the ceiling's going to be a uh, black and purple checkered and uh, yeah that's pretty much how the room's going to be and there's going to be a few other things we're going to have a probably like a, a place for his ender pearls and uh, i don't know just a, a few other decorative things but that's pretty much uh, what the room's going to be fred uh, is an enderman of simple pleasures he doesn't need uh, much to be happy so here we go we've gone and destroyed everything this is actually all oh! Are you okay? What's going on there? I think I was hitting someone. I'm sorry if I was hitting someone. This is actually a really sad moment. And <laughs> are you having a bit of trouble there? I think, do I need to use an axe for this? I remember there was, yeah, there was a glitch early on where you had to use an axe to break it for some reason. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much how it's going to be. So let's go and um, let's go and put the, the black wall around the place then, shall we? So uh, it still needs to be more stone on the outside. Uh, so it needs to be black wall along here. And I think Lee's already started putting down some carpets. And uh, there we go, they're all going and putting down carpets here. And the good things about carpets is that on the top it will look like black wool, uh, but underneath the ceiling won't be ruined downstairs. And so that's probably the, the best way of doing this. So uh, I'm going to do probably about uh, three blocks high, uh, the, the black walls around the outside. And then it's going to go in a bit like a pyramid, uh, kind of how it was before. But I'm going to have a black wall on the inside and then on the outside I'm going to have stone stairs so it's going to it's going to hopefully make the outside and the inside look better and then hopefully in the next video uh, Fred is going to go and try and check out his room but it's not it's not easy to control an enderman they kind of they kind of go around and just do what they want to be honest so uh, no promises that we're actually going to even get Fred into this room but if he just does happen to be passing by and sees the room hopefully I can I can be there to, to see his first reaction of it so uh, here we go here are most of the walls done already and so I'm gonna go and do the the purple eyes I think so I'm gonna do uh, purple uh, here and here and I've actually got some shears on me I should probably be uh, using these rather than trying to claw away at the walls with my paws and then I'm gonna do eyes here and here as well I think so these are gonna be uh, kind of like a, an enderman's eyes so if I go back here you can kind of see the the enderman's face and I think should we go <laughs> should we go up one more I reckon and then we start going in so let me go and make a little uh, temporary staircase just so we can uh, hop up oh I can't place there because there's the um 
Yeah, because there's the carpet. There we go. I can jump up on the carpets. So let's go. Let's go one higher all the way around the outside, and then we can start going up and in. And uh, then the the roof will be above that, the ceiling, uh, which is as I said, going to be the uh, the purple and black wool checkered pattern, which I think uh, will look very funky. But then again, it doesn't matter what I think. All that matters uh, is what Fred thinks, because it's going to be his room. Then we need to do some lights. I might do some. Uh, some redstone lanterns. That might be a, a nice way to light up. Rather than using torches, uh, which get a bit boring because we use them everywhere, we can do some some redstone lanterns that we can use to, to light the whole place up. So we can start just going higher and up. But um, for now, I am going to use some torches just so I can uh, just see what it is that I'm doing because the sun uh, is starting to go down. And also, I haven't mentioned this, this isn't going to be the only thing we're going to do this video. We're going to go and try and get uh, most of the, the room done. And then we're going to head over to the fun land and play Tumble Tower, uh, which is the game that I built in my last video. And we had a very little quick tester game on, of it in the last video, but it wasn't finished yet and we didn't get a chance to play it properly. And so once we've done a bit more progress on this room, uh, we're all going to go and uh, head over to the, the fun land and we're going to have a game on Tumble Tower and hopefully uh, play it properly this time. I mean, it was fine last time the way it was, but it was all a little bit wonky and wasn't uh, finished yet. So we can have the, the first proper game. So we should actually probably uh, start heading over pretty soon because uh, the sun is going down and it's getting dark and uh, yeah all the, the googlies are going to be coming out soon and uh, so what I reckon we should do is a uh, very quickly finish off the ceiling and then we can all go and head over together so I reckon this is about as high as it's going to be and so then we can do the ceiling, just do the, the checkered pattern there. But there we go. I think we've made some, some pretty good progress here. I can't put torches on the floor, uh, but I can put them up here. So there we go. This is what the room's mainly going to look like. We've got some more eyes there. And so in the next video, I'm going to go inside and do all of the, the rest of the, the details, add his beds and the, the places for his blocks and stuff. So let's all go head over to the, the fun lamp now then, everyone. And uh, we're going to have to be careful uh, because it is very dark. And oh, that was dangerous. <laughs> I missed the ladder and so did Longshot. All right, let's, let's all go and uh, get over to the fun lamp and we can go and have the the first proper game uh, of tumble tower i'm gonna leave my dogs there just because it might be a bit dangerous crossing over there oh no i'm gonna take my dogs with me let's not leave my dogs there you guys all head over i'm gonna go uh, pick up my dogs and they can join us so uh, come on spring come on benji you guys uh, can go and uh, join us over there so let's go uh, let's go and head over i don't know whether i should use the the tree train or walk over what i might do actually uh, let's have a quick stop off at the, the Pick a Pet Pet Shop uh, just to see whether we've got... Oh, sorry, dogs, I'll leave the door open for you. Yeah, just to see whether we've got any any zombie villagers. Uh, because if you remember, I've built uh, in my uh, in my caring cat clinic, uh, I built a room where I can change uh, zombie villagers into real zombies. And I almost did it in another video, but sadly the zombie left when we weren't looking. So uh, next time I think I'm going to stay and watch it just to make sure. But it looks like uh, we're completely out of stock of googlies in the, the pet shop. And uh, there's two you just <laughs> going inside. Oh no, we've got one! We've got one! Okay, right, stop everyone. No one hurt that zombie. We need to get him inside. Right, let me try and break the, the door away. That way he'll be able to get inside easily. Right, no one hurt that zombie. We can turn him into a real villager. I, I panicked that that was someone joking and, and, and dressing up as one, but this is a real villager. I can't believe how lucky we've got. Right, we need to get him inside. Then you, you run out, Lee, as quick as you can. Then I need to go try and trap him in. Oh no, no. Okay, run back in, Lee. Run back in. Okay, I'm going to try and trap him. I've, I've got him trapped in the corner. And pull the lever. Yes, there we go. We got him trapped. Right, if I Pull, press this button it's gonna splash him then in this chest here we got some golden apples and so no one hurt him no one hurt him if i give him the golden apple then hopefully there we go it's doing it it's healing him you can see the the little spirals coming off him and this is hopefully gonna turn him back into a normal villager but last time we left and came back and he was gone. So this time I am not moving from this spot. I am just going to stand here staring him in the face until he turns into a normal villager. That way he's got no chance of escaping. Uh, but because it might take a little while, I'm going to very quickly cut ahead in the video until he's hopefully turned into a villager. Yay! I got a zombie villager. Well, a villager now, no longer a zombie. Um, Hello, villager. Welcome to Stampy's Lovely World. Your first day in Stampy's Lovely World. Your first minute in Stampy's Lovely World. And um, whenever you're ready, feel free to step out of your, your cage. Um, feel free to, to roam around and make yourself a home. Look, you can come out here if you want. Do you want to come and join us or do you want to stay there? Maybe he's a bit hungry. Here's a piece of bread. It'll make a, a nice change from the, the brains you might have been eaten as a zombie. And uh, you can have a, a golden apple as well. Maybe give him a cake as well, Lee. I don't know if you've got any cake on you still. He might enjoy that. And there we go. The first villager ever in Stampy's lovely world. 
I need to come up with a name for him, actually. What what should I call him? I'm going to call him... I'm going to call him Harrison. This is Harrison the Villager. And he's the only villager in Stampy's lovely world ever. And we need to build him a house. Oh, here he comes. And here he goes. Look at Harrison go. <laughs> he's ready to explore. <laughs> he suddenly had a little burst of confidence. It is still night outside, though. And there are still lots of googlies. Um... Okay, let's let's just make sure he's gonna be okay. I guess he should be fine. It's not like there's googlies all over the place. Where's he going? Oh, oh, he's going inside the pet shop. <laughs> oh, I think he misses the other googlies because he used to be a googly. I think he he came to say hello to them. Right, we're not on their side. You're a goodie now. You're on our side, Harrison. You stay inside of this pet shop. We're gonna go over to the Funland and play Tumble Tower. I would invite you, but you've got short legs and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't know whether that's a, a good idea for the first thing you do. Right, so there we go. I've got a villager in my world. Anyway, let's go over to the, the fun land and uh, let's go and play Tumble Town. Look, you can see it's becoming day now. You can see how long it took for the, um, <laughs> for a Harrison to be turned to normal. Right, there we go. My dog should happily deal with these googlies and I'm going to go and deal with this one. I love this sword. I love having not back. I can send them flying. <laughs> you see him there sliding the whole way over the ice then. And here we go. Here's the tower. Uh, I extended it a little bit uh, since the, the last episode just to make it a little bit higher because I didn't think it, uh, it was uh, quite high enough. And uh, the pool now is like the perfect size, uh, so it's an exact square. And dogs, you are not allowed to tumble off the tower. It is too dangerous for you. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no boat, Choo Choo. You can't, you can't sail up to the top of it. Well, you can give it a go. You know what? If you want to do it in a boat, Choo Choo, you are allowed and good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, right, let's all pick a side. If you come over, if you come over to the, 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 the side where there's a space choo-choo and you can hop out the boat and uh, then we can go and start. And so the rules are very simple. You need to, oh, Lee's there, already getting a bit of an early flap in. That's cheating, put that back down. So the rules are basically, first one to the top of the tower wins. You need to go and try and flap these uh, up and down to get up. And uh, you can flap down the uh, the players either side of you as well. But no hitting each other, no arrows, no using swords, no poking each other. It's all about your own skill and reflexes. So let's begin the second ever game. Oh, <laughs> bit of a false start by Lee. Let's begin the second game of Tumble Tower in three, two, one go. Go, 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 go. Right, flap, 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 flap. Right, I've got to do better than last time. Last time I came in second. This time I am going for first. So let's go and charge up as quick as I can. And remember, it's not all about how fast you're doing. It's about knocking each other down as well. And that's exactly what Lee just did. Oh, no, not this again, Lee. Not me and Lee just going after each other. We need to make sure we go after other people as well. Long shot's in the lead, Lee. Try and take down long shot if you can. He's steaming ahead. I don't know where Choo Choo is. I think I can hear him flapping next to him. I think he's uh, very close by. Right, let's get up as quick as I can. Can. And there we go. I think I am out in front. Oh no, Lee's right beside me though. I can see them flapping next to me. They're all going to be trying to go after me. I have no idea where Choo Choo is. Oh, they, they all look quite to be far underneath me. I'm making amazing progress here, but I know Lee's going to be catching me up. Oh no, Lee's right next to me. No, Lee flapped me down. That's not fair. No, no, Lee's overtook me. Oh, right near the top as well. Right, I need to go and try and flap him back down if I can. Oh no, I just flapped myself down. Oh no, Choo Choo's going after me. Don't go after me, Choo Choo. Lee's in the lead. Oh no, Lee's going to win. I'm not going to let it happen. I am not going to let it happen. Happen. I'm gonna flap him down. Oh no, he's right by the top. He's right by the top. Please don't flap me down, Choo Choo. I know Choo Choo's right beside me. And oh no, Lee's getting really high to the top. I'm glad I made it a bit taller. I got more chance of catching him up. Oh, I'm doing really slow now though because I'm panicking. This isn't good. This isn't good. Lee's still not at the top yet though. We still got a bit of time left until he gets there. If I do this really quick, then I've definitely got a chance of catching him up still. And I'm steaming ahead now. Look how fast I'm going. I'm getting up so quick. I think I'm doing it perfectly. Go, 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 go. All I need to do is get to Lee and try and flap him down. Then I can go and overtake him and try and get the lead. I've probably got at least guaranteed second place now, but Lee is still ahead. He's not making any mistakes either. He is doing perfect flapping. And I think Choo Choo might be close behind me still. But I can flap down Lee. Oh no, he managed to get ahead. Oh, that was my chance to get him there, but I mucked it up. All right, let's go and try and get all these up. Then if I just jump flap, jump flap. Go, 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 go. I oh, know I'm doing this so rubbish. I know Lee's at the top. I nearly caught him. I nearly managed to catch him. I think I've definitely got second place. I can still see them both behind me. Well done, Lee. Lee won the second game of Tumble Tower. And once again, I'm in second place. 
Why am I always in second place? I'm going to keep playing this until we win. And who's going to get in third place? Oh, there's still a fight going on there. Longshot and Choo Choo are close. Choo Choo's ahead, but Longshot could flap him down. But Choo Choo is steaming ahead now. He's only got a few more trap doors. And there we go. Choo Choo managed to get third place. And Longshot is only just behind. Choo Choo's not going to wait around to see, though. I'm going to wait to see Longshot getting to the top. And there we go. You made it, though. You were last, but you still managed to make it to the top. And that is an achievement within itself. So I got uh, second place, uh, Lee was first, Longshot uh, was fourth, and uh, Choo Choo was third. That was a weird order to say. And then, oh no, and Longshot missed the pool when he jumped down. And look at the view! Look at the view over my fun land. I love looking at this place from like really high up. It's so colourful and bright and exciting. And uh, oh, it looks like my game has just frozen. But it doesn't matter uh, because the video was about to end now anyway. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you all later.